Hello everyone, Zach Sweet here with Lincoln Landscaping. I'm really excited to share with you guys my first vlog video where myself and my crew went around and did a two-day bed maintenance cleanup where we pulled all the weeds out of a client's beds and prepped it for mulch or planting, whatever they decide to do with the beds now that they're all cleaned up. We also, we went back and we mowed the property and we cleaned that up as well. So there's a lot going on in this video. I'm really excited to share it with you. Um, but first, a little bit more about myself and my company. You know me, Zach Sweet, my company, Lincoln Landscaping. I've been doing this for two years, going on three years. Uh, I studied at the University of Guelph in the landscaping industry. I have a certificate uh, in the industry. I'm also a member of Landscape New Brunswick. So I want to share a lot of stuff with you guys, and I hope that I can help you along your way, and maybe you guys can give me some uh, feedback and advice uh, as well. So really excited. I hope you guys enjoy it. So here we are, day two of a no. bed maintenance job. No. I don't want to be in it. No, I don't want to be in it. We pretty much have the front yard all finished up, but today we're going to tackle the backyard. So there's this bed up ahead, and all this here has to be cleaned up. There's, there's a lot of overgrowth in here, so we're going to be hauling a lot of material out of this bed really nice property really really nice big gorgeous beds they've just uh, they need a little help cleaning it all up and getting it ready to go over here is where we cleaned up yesterday all the beds in here And over here as well, we cleaned up. And Cassandra's putting on the knee pads upside down right now. All right, so we're back after a quick lunch break. That's what we got rid of this morning. <laughs> All right, so we just got back after a quick lunch break. There's my sister. No, you're not using this. Not letting me vlog. Anyway, this was uh, all the weeds we got rid of this morning. All these leaves and weeds came out of all the beds that we uh, are prepping for this customer. And we still have about an hour or more to do. And we just will probably fill up the rest of these buckets. Today we're just trying to clean up this, uh, this giant bed back here so you can, you can really tell the difference when uh, you come along this edge here. You can see it's nice and clean. We took out some dead, dead shrubs and things. And this is sort of the area we've uh, we've gotten to, to this point. This is what it looks like when we're in the process of cleaning stuff out. So all in here was just a ton of different things. So we'll still go through and we'll pick up all this little stuff here, but that's where we're at right now. So there we go. All cleaned up along the edge. So we still come to this property weekly, so we're going to be able to keep on top of this and 
and keep the weeds from coming back. We'll also come back and we'll edge the uh, we'll edge the bed out again, make the lines cleaner. Hey guys, Zach Sweet here from Lincoln Landscaping. I'm headed off to work today. I'm riding solo, so I thought I'd bring you guys along. So first stop of the day, I have to go to the dump to get rid of all those weeds and brush that I was getting rid of at a client's property yesterday. So that's step one, so I can pack up my truck and trailer and get to work. So off to the dump we go. So this is what the dump looks like in my in my city. You got to go in and, and weigh yourself or weigh your load before you uh, enter and they'll tell you exactly where to go and most times I come it's five bucks. So now we're just going on the scales, weigh the load. Twenty four hundred kilograms. I don't know how they price their I don't know what their pricing scales are or how 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 all that works, but pretty much every single time I come to the dump to to get rid of brush or shrubs or whatever it is, it's five bucks. I've had big, big, big loads, dump trailers and everything and I think if it's easy waste to discard of, they just charge you five bucks, so that works out. So we're going to, uh, I guess, the cleaner section of the dump. There's the landfill and then there's the area K, which is mostly just construction and, and trees and shrubs. I hate going to the landfill because it smells absolutely horrible. <laughs> and you smell like, you just, everything stinks. Your truck will smell like it the rest of the day. So I try to plan accordingly and make sure I go there at the end of my days. All right, so now we're coming back up to the front gate and the nice ladies at the booth are gonna tell me it's gonna be five bucks. Hi. Hi. Five bucks. Want your seat? Yes, please. Thank you very much. Five bucks. Like I said, I don't know how they come up with the prices, but it's never been more than five bucks, no matter how big or small the load is. Alright, so 
The beds have now been officially completed. They've been cleaned, they've been tidied up, debris taken away, so we all know what that means. It's time to mow. So what I like to do, it varies from property to property, but on this property, first thing I like to do, I would want to go around and edge out the property and trim the property. Reason being, there's just so many obstacles on this property, so many different things to go around. It's just easier for me if I'm going to go around with the trimmer before and then hit everything with the mower. So that's what I'm doing here. Another nice thing about this property, it's fairly large, so I get to use the, the zero turn on pretty much the whole thing. Uh, if I didn't have the zero turn, there'd be a lot of extra things to do because of all the obstacles I have to go around. So we had a really good week of grass growth. So the grass was really, really long here. So after mowing it once, I went over it again in another direction to sort of spread out those clippings and also give it a nice pattern on the front lawn. So I went horizontal uh, on the first pass and then on the second pass I went vertical sort of towards the camera to give some nice stripes to the yard and to move around those clippings. I don't always do that, but if there's a lot of clippings on the lawn, even if I'm mowing tall, I like to polish up the property, make it look like we didn't just make a mess and we actually did something beneficial for the yard. So that's why I did that. As you can see now, the finished product, you can sort of see the lines there on the property. All that has to be done now is I just have to blow off the debris from the clippings and I'll show you guys a bit of a walk around. So this, this property uh, took us, I guess, two days to clean up all the beds, tidy them up, get them ready to go. And then after that, we just mowed and we cleaned it all up. So this is a weekly client. We'll come back, we'll mow on a regular basis. We'll clean the beds on a regular basis. We'll keep them nice and tidy. And as long as the client's happy, we're gonna make sure that they stay happy. And if they wanna add other things to the bed, we're gonna do that for them. So this property is really turning out nice. I'm, I think we're really gonna enjoy working with these clients and working on their property. I see a lot of potential with them. So I'm very happy, I hope they are too. So that's the project we did uh, this week, guys. So if you have any questions or any advice or any considerations for me, I'd appreciate comments or anything, send me an email and I really like to, to talk to you guys. So comment, like, su subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.